In today's video, I'm going to do a detailed comparison between the two cold outreaching and LinkedIn automation tools. This is Closely and this is the Infox. Right now, both available on the app so with the similar pricing. You can see this is for the Infox, you have to pay the $59 and for the Closely, you have to pay the $69. So the pricing is pretty similar here. But the problem is that people are confused which tool is actually the pretty good and right for their cold outreaching and the LinkedIn automation. So in the few minutes, this video is going to answer them because I have tested and experienced both the tools for the LinkedIn outreaching and I have already created a detailed video on that. So if you want a detailed features demo and the tutorial and the overview for the both tools, you can go to my YouTube channel and find out out there. You can see this is the closely review and this is the infox review you can find the link in the description and i highly suggest you to watch both of these videos to get to know about their features don't worry i will also give you the overview in this video for the both of the tools features and after that i will compare them so hey guys this is basant here and without wasting any more time let's compare the infox with the closely and find out for you which is the right tool for the linkedin outreaching and the automation so i'm going to get started with the both platforms overview i will talk about their features that is available under their dashboard and after that i'm going to show you what are the differences and comparison between both of the tools so let's get started with the infox so you can see this is the infox and in the home screen you are going to see all the insights about your campaigns and the profiles for you have campaign the launched then after that we got the campaigns and here you can start launching your campaign so when you are going to launch your campaign it is first going to ask you to connect your linkedin account which you can do from this section and connecting your account with the infox is pretty much really easy simply click here on the add account either way you can go with the login with your credentials or you can use its chrome extension so simply install its chrome extension and after that open your linkedin account and then get back here and click on just here on the connect via infox chrome extension and now it is going to sync your linkedin account with the infox you can see my account is added and just click here and now your account is in the info that is pretty much simple now after that you have to go to the campaign and start launching out your campaign so let me show you in the quick way how you can launch your campaign click on the create campaign it's going to ask you which type of the campaign you want to launch suppose it is going to search the leads and after that uh offer the outreaching automation okay so you can go with this one then we have the post campaign this is the event campaign this is for the group campaign suppose you want to outreach a specific group member then you can launch this group campaign then we have the list campaign and this is the ai campaign right now it is not available we can see and use it in the future so let's get started with this one post campaign so here it is going to ask you few things first of all your linkedin account that we have just connected then after that outreach type whether you want to go with the just linkedin or this in mail okay so i will just go with the linkedin right now we cannot use both of them simultaneously we can use it individually so that is the thing i didn't like it here then after that it's going to ask you the target audience so how many the audience you want to target let's go with the 500 you can increase and decrease according to your objective let's click on the create campaign okay so we are in the campaign and now it is going to ask you the post url because you see we have selected the post objective type campaign so it is asking us our uh, post url and impression and engagement on that post you got it it is going to target only those people here so let me go to my linkedin profile let me go to the my profile here okay and just copy any of the post okay let me close this one go to the my profile and find any of the post so this post got some engagement so i will just simply click here on this three dots and here you will find out the link of this post get back to the infox paste the url and now you can see it is going to show you all the things so right now in this post i got the three likes comments and the reports so let's click on the next now it is going to find out all those audience from that post link okay so once that is done this next button will be the unlocked here so it will take some time to analyze uh, the audience here okay so you have to wait a little bit and once process is done you can see all the targeted people here so you have to select them all of them which you want to target so you can select them here okay so once you do that now it is going to ask you to go with the next step here so suppose i have selected these two or three people here let's go to the next and here we are going to craft our automation so you can see we have the connection request so simply we can send out the connection request with the connection request we can send out the connection note here so connect uh, note you have to type your message here whatever the message you want to do that here okay so you can see 
you can either go with the templates by the way these templates you have to create the manually so you are not going to get any pre-designed or pre-built templates i have created this template here and based on that this is the crafted message i can also use its ai enhance button here to enhance this message for me and now this personalized message is enhanced for this particular profile right now you can see this is the personalized name and this is the personalized profile uh any unique part of that profile here you can see with the every uh profile when i uh, scrolling here i got the new message based on that person okay so you can also add the sequence messages you can also add the follow-ups in this uh campaign as well so once you do that step let's go to the next button okay it is going to ask you the, some other things let me deactivate this one let's go to the next and here we are going to schedule our campaign so based on the different people this scheduling thing is can be a little bit messy because because every people on your campaign ha can have the uh, different time zone here so what you can do simply click here and go with this one targets time zone select this one click on the next now you are going to launch your campaign so that's how easy it is create your campaign okay so once you start getting this some interaction here you can check it out your leads okay and based on this filtration you can see and filter out leads then this in the inbox section this is the unified inbox that is going to show you the conversions because you have connected different accounts here on the inbox so every time go with those different uh, linkedin accounts and just interact and manage chat i can be a little bit effortful that's why this unified inbox section is available for the inbox and here you can find out all the messages you are interacting with the people here okay then we have the templates i have showed you templates that i have manually created you can do that here this is the linkedin automation and this is the work Piece. and the aim folks the only one thing that i like most here is that we can create the multiple work spaces under in the one dashboard here this is the really good part here now let me go to the link uh, closely here and also show you the process and the overview of the feature so this is the closely platform and on the overhead you can see we have the all the accounts we are connected so the one good part that i liked in the closely that along with the linkedin automation you can also do the whole outreaching with the email campaign so that is the extra good thing and if you are going to launch the campaign there's also the option available to uh, launch your multi-channel campaign integrating with the linkedin as well as the your email account so let me show you a demo here suppose i have created a campaign here that i am actually using so let me go to the edit and you can see this is the campaign so let me show you the step so in the first step i am going to view the profile of my targeted leads then i'm going to like the post then i'm going to send out this connection request and once the connection request is accepted this is the message is going to send out and this after the message of this after one day this is the endorsement skill going to be launched and here i have also created one more thing once the connection request is accepted this closely platform or its ai is automatically going to fetch the email for that particular lead and after that when email is found this message will be sent and after this second day this message will be sent so this is the outreaching plus automation system i have created with the closely and right now this is the thing only you can do it with the closely that thing is not available on the inbox you can either go with the your launching of the campaigns with the uh, linkedin account or the email so that is the thing that closely is giving you the extra and the higher hand here okay so to how you are going to connect your account in the closely that is also a really pretty much easy in the account section you can see here you can connect your multiple accounts suppose i want to connect a linkedin account email connecting is really easy you know let me show you how you can connect linkedin account so simply click here either you can go with the credentials or again you can use its chrome extension so closely also offer its chrome extension simply install its browser extension and the same way it is going to sync your account like we have done it in the aim form okay so once your account is connected it is going to show you here now let me go to the campaign and in front of you create a campaign click here on the new campaign let me add the campaign i'm going to name it as the test and here it is going to select the accounts like if you are going to launch the multi channel uh outreaching automation then you have to select both this is your linkedin accounts and here you have to select your email accounts okay so you once you have connect, uh, selected those of them let's click on the save and the next and here it is going to ask your audience so the one more feature that i liked most in the uh closely here you can simply go to the linkedin and go to the search section and simply search the 
audience you want to target suppose i want to search all the sports related people so i have searched sport let's go to the people and now i only need this link of this searching then let's start to the closely paste the link here and now it is going to target all the people from this url let me click here on this save and the next you can also do with this similar kind of the stuff we have done in the aimfox like only targeting the your post engagement people group targeting all those stuff you can also do that but here in the this closely platform we are doing something extra that is infox is not offering us okay so now it is going to ask you to create your automation or steps so let's go with step 1 first i am going to view their profile and after that i am going to like one post okay then after that i want to send out the connection request and here it is going to ask your connection request message it has some pre built templates available again this is the really good thing so i will go with this one hi first name just saw your profile because of a mutual connection we have i like to get connected with you and see how if we can collaborate in future okay the this template will see could here let's click here on the paste let's click here on the save and before saving that you can see there's the extra feature we draw request after 14 days if not requested so again really cool thing so let me enable this one click on the save and my connection request is ready and now in the next step of the automation it is going to ask you if connection request is accepted what the thing you want to do for me i am going to send out a message so let me go here use any of the template message okay just for the demo purpose paste this one save and now this message is now ready in the next step i am going to endorse some of my skills after one day okay it is good now let me add the email automation as well so i am going to add the one more step that if the connection request is accepted i am going to find the leads email okay then if the lead uh, email is the available i am going to send out a email here you can see send email so in the email you can uh craft your message hello this is just a demo message let's save and now my email is ready so you can see this kind of the automation you can create in the closely pretty much pretty much easy yet multi channel automation we have done that so once everything is done click here on the save and the next and now verify your audience so here it is going to show you all of the people that you have targeted from the search link here okay so it can take some time to searching out your target audience so let's wait a little bit and here is the audience list okay so now let's click here on this save and start now and boom our campaign is ready and will launch okay so right now you can see here you will find out all of your campaigns right now is running i want to pause this one not run right now okay so that's how and the pretty much simple you can create and craft your campaign now the next feature is the unified inbox similar to the inbox we have and here you are going to manage and the chat with all the audience with the different linkedin profiles you have to switch the linkedin profiles here for both this is the linkedin profile and these are all the chat it can show me all the chats the unread messages and the art chats okay all this stuff then this is the to network here it is going to show you all of the people that is connected with your account as the connections okay you can filter them with the job title company tag as well and in the closely there are also some extra features available like this one is the appointment here you can create your appointment page within the closely platform you don't need any third party calendly or the any other uh booking platforms to connect with it here you can just set up this an uh, appointment page and you can integrate with the closely your messages under them then this is the email finder here you can also sorry this is the lead finder not the email okay so here you can just search out your lead and the closely has a database more than 134 million users of the leads so that is the really big number here and these are all the verified people then this is the campaign for the email you can also launch your email campaigns that will be the individual with the linkedin campaign so that is the also good feature we have under so this will makes closely linkedin automation as well as email outreaching automation uh, tool here then this is the extension i have also talked about this is the integration part so in the closely we have the some integration available like the hub spot we have the webhook and the pipe drive and if we compare the integration thing with the infox it is not available here yes you cannot find the any integration option in the infox 
and that is the thing I also disappointed here. But the only thing that AIM Fox is the offering that they closely don't have is that one. That is, you can create the workspaces and manage with them. You can diversify your brands, your work, your team member under this workspaces. So that is the pretty good feature. Right now, closely don't offer this one. And I highly suggest closely also offer this workspace feature here. Okay, so I have talked about all the things, all the features available in the both platforms. And after that, here are my conclusions. So in the end, Fox, you are going to find a really cool user interface. Although user interface in the close is also pretty good here. Okay, but in the end, Fox, you find it a little bit better compared to the closely. And the one feature that is going to find it is really useful is this one work space. If you have the multiple team members brands to work with, then this work is work space is pretty much really useful. Now, if I talked about the closely, closely have the multiple things and the upper hands compared to the info like we can create the campaigns that is the highly step by step automation in built with linkedin and the emails then we have this one that is the my network that is going to show you all of your linkedin connection in the daily detailed way and in the accounts you can connect your uh, emails and the linkedin accounts here okay so this makes the multi channel outreaching really effortful you can also launch your individual email campaigns and in the integrations, you can connect with your already platforms if you are using like the HubSpot, Webhook or the Pipedrive. So that thing is also not available in the M4. So right now, let me compare the one final part is the pricing. So in the M4, you have to pay the $59. And if I go to the plans and features, you can see you can connect with the only one LinkedIn account and the work, work space. And if you want higher limits of the LinkedIn accounts connectivity and the higher work spaces, you will go with the higher plans. Okay. So this is the closely plan starting from the $69 and if I go to its plans and features you can see in the uh, first plan you don't have the much of these features access you have to go starting with the plan 2 that's why I highly suggest skip its uh, plan 1 because it is not giving going to give you the, the features we actually need one okay so you have to go with the plan 2 starting from $138 and here you will get the 4000 credits, one LinkedIn account, one email sheet and the LinkedIn campaigns you can launch, automated connection request, all these features that I have showed you is going to get here on the starting from the plan too. So right now what I suggest, if you are just starting out and don't know much about the LinkedIn outreach, I suggest info is best for you because with the one account you can do get started here on the info. But if you have some experience and want some extra and the some advanced features, you have to go with the closely here because here we are getting the much extra and the advanced features for the followers, for the automations, for the email plus LinkedIn outreaching, all those stuff. Plus one more extra thing that I have forgot to talk about is the warm up feature. This warm up feature in the LinkedIn is going to help you to save your accounts here. Okay. But in the in fact, there is no warm up kind of the feature you can see it here. So what it will do, it is going to slowly scale your outreaching. Okay, that's why it is not going to harm your LinkedIn account and the banning possibilities will really, really low or the uh, end to zero here on the closely. But in the in fact, there is no such kind of the uh, warm kind of the thing available. They although told us that they have the this kind of the that is the proof linkedin yeah this one bypass linkedin connection request limit but i highly suspect because linkedin is the really a lot bigger platform and a change in algorithm can mess with your account so if you want more extra tool which can secure your linkedin account then the closely is the better one so this is the detailed comparison i have talked about if you want a detailed video on the closely as well as on the in, uh, inbox feature i suggest you can watch these videos the link will be going the description so that's all for today's video and if you want to check it out any of the tools like if you are the beginner inbox good for you if you are the advanced user and already have the experience closely is the good for you so you will find the both tools link in the description and if you enjoyed this video or the comparison make sure to hit the like button and subscribe my youtube channel to stay updated with all these kind of the comparisons bye bye take care and i will see you in the next